This is the story of how two European illegal migrants drew a line on the map and split Congo into two halves. This line will later become a source of conflict and division among the people of the Congo. The ruler and the knife, this is the story of Congo's colonial partition. Now, one of the illegal migrants was an Italian man called Pietro Paolo Savornian di Brazza, who later became French and his name became Pierre Paul François Camille Savornian de Brazza in French. Now, Brazza was one was the first European to explore the Congo River basin in the late 19th century. Now, according to the story, Brazza founded the city of Brazzaville in 1880. You see, in French, ville means city, so Brazzaville literally means Brazza's city. The city became the capital of French Congo, and it, it, it served as a hideout for, the, for French soldiers and their general de Gaulle when they were invaded by their German cousins during World War II. I'll pin an interesting video in the comment section, please check it out. But back to the story. Now, the other illegal migrant was Henry Morton Stanley, an American journalist who worked for the Belgian king Leopold II. The Belgian king was a notorious psychopath who wanted to create a personal empire in the Congo and exploit its natural resources. He is remembered across the African continent as someone that even the devil had to distance himself because, because of his brutality, oppression and enslavement of the people of the Congo in their own land. Now, that, now, this is the man Stanley was working for, the American journalist was working for as a consultant in the Congo, helping the king to claim control of the territory. Now, keep in mind, it was a time when European colonizers were going around the African continent and lying to their fellow Europeans back home that they were the first people in the world to have discovered things and places where they found people already living there. But back to the story. Brazza and Stanley bumped into each other on Congolese territory. Keyword Congolese territory, meaning they met on or they met on a land that belonged to the Congolese people. But they began arguing over who had the right to control it, to control that land. But since they both had similar agenda, they eventually agreed to compromise. So they enfolded a map on a wooden table and traced a line. Uh, they traced a line with a ruler across the Congo River Basin, splitting it into two halves. This line is still the border between the Republic of Congo and the Democratic Republic of Congo today. The Republic of Congo is a former French colony and DRC, the Democratic Republic of Congo, is a former Belgian colony. Both countries suffered, the, suffered from the brutal oppression and exploitation by their colonizers. Side note. The capital city of DRC was once known as Leopoldville, meaning Leopold City. But under President Mobutu Sese Seko, the country decided to get rid of that ugly name and called it Kinshasa. However, the other Congo decided to keep Brazzaville. By the way, Kinshasa and Brazzaville are the two closest capital cities in the world. You can literally see Brazzaville from Kinshasa and vice versa. How do I know? Well, I once lived in both cities. Anyways. The line that Braza, Braza and Stanley drew had lasting consequences for the people and the politics of the region. It divided people the same. It, is, it divided people from the same family, culture, and language into two different countries. It also created artificial boundaries that ignored the historical and ethnic reality of the region. It sparked conflict and wars amongst different groups and factions that continue to this day. It also enabled foreign interference and exploitation by other powers that seek to benefit from the Congo's rich resources. It was common practice amongst European powers at the time to draw arbitrary borders on maps because at the Berlin Conference between 1884 and 1885, all the rulers were present. Anyways, the story of Congo's colonial partition is a story of how two Europeans divided Africa with a ruler and planted a knife between people of the same family. It is a story of how colonialism and imperialism shaped and shattered the lives of millions of people in Africa. It is a story that we should never, never forget. Not to dwell on it, but never forget. If it's your first time interacting with my content, I would like to welcome you and let you know that I have a podcast on YouTube full of non-political stories. You can find it in the podcast sections of the channel. I also have a book of Proverbs which you can access through the link below. 
Moreover, I create fire content that speak for itself. Please check out my catalog and thank you for your time. Wait, Nini, Nini.